One, two, three. The bigger picture. That, that is, is what, what you Hollywood, Hollywood stands stand for. Folks, I'm Tommy NC2010, and welcome to Tommy Talks, the most electrifying show in Western North Carolina. Tonight we have a special guest for you. His name is Chris, the Game Creator. Nice to meet you, Chris. Hey, How are you? Man. Welcome to Tommy Talks Show. How are you doing tonight, sir? Pretty good. Good to meet you, Tom. So, uh, what inspired you to create this tabletop game? Well, I got a tabletop battle strategy game. And I was explaining to my friend how to play. He's not into games. And uh, I made a simplified version to show my friend how these type of games work. And when I made the simplified version, I thought, hey, this is pretty pretty easy to pick up. This would be kind of a very simple way to get people in to tabletop strategy battle games. Now, is uh, tabletop games for a lot of strategy? A lot of uh, a lot of mind to play in the tabletop games, or is it just simple for any ordinary dude person to do? Exactly. Uh, this game is real easy to pick up. You could learn how to play in maybe 15 minutes, and uh, once you learn how to play, there is some strategy you can get deeper and longer. Uh, now, uh, is it, it's all about rolling and dice and everything, and how you get into the. Uh, the format of the game and stuff like that, is that how you move your pieces and stuff like that? Exactly, it's all role based and turn based to play the game. game now, what is the name of the game? Ultimate Archer. Ultimate Archer. Now, uh, so I'm guessing the theme of the idea of the game is you're basically fighting against an opponent yes. and trying to take over his base. And, uh, you know, how long would you say a normal game would take? You can play a game in 30 minutes. Really? So it's kind of fast. Yeah. Now, my question is, uh, how are you, uh, where do you go to get the, uh, where are you going to go to make this game expand more? What is your plan? Well, starting off, we just have archers. Six archers, six archers. I'd like to add swordsmen, axemen, and spearmen. Just to start off. That would be coming next year. Really? Yes. Well, the thing was I was asking was, uh, where are you, where are you getting your funding to try to extend the game so it can, uh, uh, so you can uh, get people to purchase it? That's what we're talking about. Well, I'm going to be putting it on Kickstarter, really? Ultimate Archer at Kickstarter.com, where if you're interested, you can follow us and. We love a donation, and uh, we're looking to maybe create about 500 copies of the game, and that'd be a great way to a great start to get it out there. And now how I know you, Chris, is because I know you're a friend of a friend, and she came to me and said if I could help you. So I only had to come here on the talk show and just talk to you about the game and explain a little bit about it. So, folks, here's the thing: go down in the description below and check out his website. It'll be down the, the first link in the description below and donate and help this gentleman get his game up and going. And uh, well this is one of the pieces right here. You know, and, uh, yep. what is so he's just like they're all archers. Yeah, that looks like a 14th century. Why don't we see some gameplay? Okay. Show us how to play the game. Yeah, show, sure. Just show me how to um, just show me how you would play the how typically you would set the game. Well first move you want to get a character on the board. Okay. The object of the game is to take control of all four bastion towers. So the very first thing you'd want to do is move a player to the tower and then roll the dice. You gotta roll five or six to climb up. 
I rolled a one. I didn't get up. Your turn. One. <laughs> so we, we don't have good climbers. Let me try let me try that again. Okay. Oh, Four. close. Yes. Close but no cigar. So basically Yep, you put your character near the tower you want to climb up and then you roll to get up. So back to my turn, I'll try to get up this tower. Oh, two, didn't get up. So basically it's just a, it's just a, a feat, but on the board, mm -hmm. if there's like little pieces, right? Yes. Let's fast forward a little. Uh, put all the pieces onto the board and uh, so stay with start you. attack phases. Okay. So say I got a player up and you got a player up. Once you take control of the main keep, you have a major advantage. You can shoot somebody down off these towers, and you only have to roll a four, five, or six. Because in this game, if you shoot down, like in real life, if an archer was shooting down, it would be much easier to take out an opponent rather than shooting level and shooting up. You'd have a tremendous advantage to shoot down. So if you take control of the main keep, you only have to roll a four, five, or six to knock off an opposing player. So I'll go ahead and try that. Reroll. Off the table always means reroll. Reroll. Reroll, reroll. And that's a Tommy Talks uh, judges ruling exclusive. No other talk show has that. The, the creator of the game himself said falls off the table. It's reroll. Yeah, Tommy re Talks got the Tommy scoop Talks on that. Exclusive. It's Tommy Talks exclusive, yeah. Exclusive. You don't want to play on a table with a lot of cracks. <laughs> Let's see if I can get one stick here. Oh, four. So four, five, or six takes out your opponent's archer. He is now off. Yeah, that definitely sounds fun and entertaining. You know, it just it definitely sounds epic and very. You play through on it, and uh, but I hope that we can get this up and going. And uh, I just want to say thank you. Yeah, so well, think about it, Tommy. Uh, game. The entire game itself, with the rules card, only has 20 pieces. Makes it very portable, as opposed to other tabletop strategy games. 18 pieces. 18. You got six. Wait, that's four. That's four. Well, you got the, rule, the dice, I was saying. Uh, yeah, I counted the, the dice. dice. Yeah. 18. <laughs> no, 20, 20, right? No, plus the dice. And, and I counted the rule card, too, I think. Plus, plus, right, 18 pieces plus dice and rule card brings it up to 20 pieces. 20 and 21, yeah. Yeah, it's not, no, and it all fits inside itself, the, the center tower. Yep, all yeah. fits inside the main box. Well, I'll tell you what, man, we're definitely trying to help you get up on the ground, maybe get some people purchasing it, that play Magic to, to, to do these tabletop games. Yeah, they can pre-order it at uh, Chris's Kickstarter now. Uh, you can actually, yes, you can pre-order it. That's my cameraman is saying behind the camera right now. You can pre-order it on Chris's website. I know, they, I know, uh, my friend is trying to help me out here, <laughs> but uh, you can pre-order this on Chris's website, which the link will be in the top book, the, the, the top description below. So, folks, I just want to say thank you so much for another awesome episode of Tom Tucks. Thank you so much, Chris. As always, I'm keeping you on the inside fact. Subscribe, support, stay positive. Cut. That's good, Tommy. Yeah, yeah.